Thank you very much, Naveka Lemkwai. Thank you very much. Let me start by recognizing the presence of, acknowledging the presence of His Royal Highness, Senior Chief Mwewa, all the Ngombo chiefs that are present, our chair of the Luapula Province Council of Chiefs, uh, all of them, and also the visiting chiefs from different parts of Luapula, different parts of Zambia. We're very, very grateful that you are all here. Banefoya Kupelo Kutasha Kuriba Kanabesa, Basina Chief Mwewa, Nabonse, Bakanabesa, Abadi Pagat Pali Fue, Banefo Kutila Bakateka, Bat Badiavansa and Sabantu Bonse, Namuisa Molikuno. I want to acknowledge the presence of my colleagues, cabinet colleagues, and uh, who have also greeted the people here, and the provincial minister, Yasimtoe, and indeed central government, PSCs, local government, chair, mayors, MPs, councillors, all of you are recognized. Bonse, Mueva Buteko, Mueva Dipano, Kutampila Kuriba Minister, Awanaba Mipo Chakare, Balotilo Kutila, Naimwe Mkwai, Badia Bansansa, Ukumimona, Kabi Naimwe, Bami Sumbula. I want to give a special recognition to the clergy led by our bishop, the bishop of Mansa Diocese, and all your religious colleagues, some of whom I met in a small tent there, we acknowledge your presence. His grace, Archbishop Bangmansa, our UPND leadership at the national management province, Mwape and your team, districts, and all the structures of the party, including our special recognition to those from other political parties in our democratic, constitutional democratic country. I do recognize that there may be our cooperating partners here that are present and their excellencies that may be present or serving our country on behalf of their countries of origin. We recognize them as well. Let me recognize in a special way Avena Ngumbo, the people of this area, Lubwe, Shifunabuli, indeed Luapula, and those that are visiting from other parts of the country. We're very grateful that you are here in big numbers. Thank you to the media for carrying what we're doing here today. Without you, Zambia wouldn't know what's happening in this beautiful place. The world wouldn't know what is happening here. So thank you to the media. So let me continue by expressing our deep appreciation Senior Chief Mwewa, for your invitation, together with your other Ngumbo chiefs, for your invitation here to this beautiful 2024 Ukwanga ceremony. Indeed, you could have invited other people, but you chose to invite this fellow speaking here and my team that has come with me. We're very, very thankful for that to start with. Kuri 
kuiba kana wewe sawa moyo wa bale bakateka bale pole kutesha no kutotela muko balali ka kontu mwa balali ko bitila benge sasa ngwa kuli upoko sofia ngachali ni finga mwali tile bambi le lori mwe mukutemwa mwa itile bakateka ne bomba lyabo ilo beshile isa no kwisa sangwa ko kutino bale tila bakotela ngashe senior chief mwewa let me continue by expressing our deep, deep appreciation for keeping our customs, keeping our heritage, our values, raising our citizens from this part of the country here in Luwe and Chifunaburi, including the islands over there. You're doing a great job. You are keeping this heritage, our heritage. This is our ceremony, all of us on behalf of the people of Zambia na totela mkwai na totela ngash bakanabesa bakateka waleti la to totela pakushunga ififichilano pakutila ifyo mulesunga Yesu bonse no kuchilisha basaza na mashua ya kalamba Yesu kuno kutila na totela mutsungu thank you thank you very much i want to remind my colleagues those who believe that going to school, getting a diploma, a degree, getting a certificate, then you start speaking good English, you think you are superior to the people of Ngombo area, the people of Chifunabuli, you are not. You have lost the way along the way. You have lost the way along the way. We, you must, we must cherish our customs and our values. Then we'll become complete people. If you look at the Japanese, very well developed, but they are grounded in their culture. They are grounded in their values. I would like us to continue supporting Ukwanga ceremony and all our other traditional ceremonies across the country because they reflect who we are. Ukwesha, ukulanda na bali abatila amasa mbilino mwa poka certificate diploma muli digiri imwe mwa tano kutila mwa sambilira ichikala mbacha kutila intambi ni intambi tufwilo twashishiba e bitale mwa kutila ile tuwe ikatala mu musango ngoyo ivwe ni twashiba umuri mwa sipandu ishitambi tachile luba yo your Royal Highness and all the guests, all the custodians of our culture, our values, we want to assure you that the UPND government, the New Dawn UPND government, your government, will continue supporting you over for in all these practices that are positive, that teach our children who we are. New Dawn government, yena na ikuwa tomulimo, uwa kutungirira, no kumitungirira, muli vyonza bintu mule chita, pantu uvi efkalengo kula ikatana pamo, no kuombela pamo, gobo ananyina. Let me just also underscore the importance of working together. You, Avena Ngombo here, traditional leaders from other parts of the province and the country, that you and the government our partners. We're not competitors. We serve the same people. This government of the New Dawn UPND is composed of your own children. As you see Kapala here, although we didn't get a member of parliament here, the president used his constitutional right to nominate a member of parliament and appointed a minister because of the recognition that we are one people. The DC here, the permanent secretary here, the deputy permanent secretary, I must not just say the DC, the DC here in Chifunavuli. The DCs across this province are all your children appointed by this fellow you elected to be president because this fellow recognizes that this government is your government, is their government, is our government. I want to underscore that point because sometimes we hear things like we are running different services for some remote people who we don't know. We run what we do, public affairs, traditional affairs, 
fu avena ngumbo avena lugwe avena chifunabuli kawambwa mansa nchelenge mwansabombe everyone we are together we are inseparable we are one that's why we say one zambia one nation and one nation one people mkwai mkwai mungu supawila wakateka wazo zo kutila imwe wakanabesa na ifwe for our government mkwai tu wakote fye avantu vamobene e itwe chale ngo kutila nerio valesa la avantu bali senda avantu avakuno avanabesu avakuno kuinde kumiesu na monte nde shimbi shale kana le kana e ito mlele ngo kutila mwasa ngo kutila e kwa kutila one zambia one nation pandu nishibonse na tuma na kapi mkubo mbela abantu wa mwene bantu wa government wa kwata na wakanabesa batu ngulula na lawe kishapo one zambia vena ngumbo one zambia ah 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 nshile umfwa kwa sheni kwa shuri kwa vena ngumbo one zambia Gana landa at one nation mwasukati one people one nation one people na kabiri tutambe one zambia one nation one nation one people endita mkwai patotela so so if i may just say one or two things your royal highness and the other royal highnesses i must also indicate when i met the clergy in the tent there, Bishop, our Bishop of the Mansa Diocese, and your other men and women of God from different churches, I also underscore the importance of us being partners. We're not competitors, I repeat. As it is with the chiefs, we, your government, are your partners. Again, we serve the same people who are in this government. Some are Catholics appointed by this president. Some are, you know, from United Church of Zambia. Some are from SDA. Some are from Pentecost. All of them from the very homes, the very churches that you superintend over. I am talking about being one, serving, performing different roles. Why am I emphasizing this issue? A country that is not united cannot deliver we and touch, cannot deliver development. So I emphasize that we need a platform of unity in diversity, be diversity driven by the church, be diversity driven by a traditional leader in that, in that particular area, be diversity driven by the geography, the way God put us together in this country of 10 provinces, 116 districts, 156 constituencies, Nafimbifia Shala. Still, we are one. Very, very important. Unity is cardinal. On the platform of unity, we can drive, we and Tanshi, we can drive development. Area Shindela and Dapan. Bakanavesa, Wakateka Vale Sokutila, Ukubombela Pamo, Echin Tubaleko Chapano. If we, Tatule Chimfia Nyayo, Patfide Chimfia Nyawa Mupila, Ili Timu Kudimbi, Neli Timu Kulimbi, Awe, Mukwesho Kulunganya, Mukurunka Mukta Kumwena, Bano Sokutila, Ukubombela Pamo, Echilengano, We and Tashuwa Chalo, Ukuya Pantaj, Echo Kupitia Mufilonga, you know, Fiale Kanale Kana, Gatua Bombela Pamo, Umuni Wacha Chalo Echi, Ukabombe Kabuino, Bantu Bonse. So your country will continue driving development across the country, such as bringing freedom, bringing peace in our country, bringing peace in our country. And many of you know why I'm saying that. Bringing peace in our country is very important. This government will continue doing that, bringing development opportunities such as free education. Aba anaba anshiwa, aba anaba wapina, wo nsevala ya kumaskuru kwa avulo kulipila. That's a commitment we made when we were still in opposition and we walked the talk. So I'm asking all of us to make sure that aba anaba is wo nse, vale ya kumaskuru, vale sambilila. Because that's why this free education was brought about, to deliver equity 
fairness, if you like, greatest investment, greatest, greatest inheritance for our people is education. Epela. CDF, your government has increased CDF from a very small amount when we took office 1.6 million to 25 million to 30 million and next year to 36.1 million so we can build more schools, we can build more health centers including maternity wings, we can build more, if you like, water facilities. We can also buy desks. We can employ more teachers. This is the story. This is the business why we elect governments into office. This is it. if your government CDF. I can go on, but I want to underscore just one important thing. This province, this area first, Lowe, Chifunaburi, you just have to look around where I'm standing here. I am looking over, overlooking the water. Where I am standing here, I'm looking at Umushili. Just these two things, water and these soils, Lubwe is rich, Chifunabu is rich. Before we start digging for manganese, we already have wealth which we can see with our eyes. Our job is to convert this water and the soil into food, into businesses. I was telling Kapara, hey Kapara, you are proud that you, you built a radio station. Why it the tele center people to know? Why are you not irrigating? Look at this soil. Why are you not putting fish cages here? And that's my message to my friends who were born, born and bred here. You went to Lusaka. You went to other countries. You have made a bit of money. Bring the money back here home. Invest here. Then you can lead by example. That is your message also. I understand you come from one of the islands. Let any rupee who know. Once the local boys and girls bring money here, others will follow. Other Zambians will come. Other investors will come. And Chilubi, sorry, and Lube, Chifunaboli, and all these beautiful rich areas, Kawamba, Nchelenge, you know. Uh, Chiengi, Mansa Bombe, Chembe, Mansa. That is why we are investing in this area in infrastructure. Ningunfa about the road. I want to confirm here this road, which I've been told since I landed, this road will be done. I can confirm open here. This road will be done. <laughs> Chitika.
Landeni na kabiri na kabiri koshori koshu koshori koshu eh pamusebo landeni pamusebo pokori ndefo kubokesha bo pamusebo bakatoka balanda ti uyu mutsebo wonse bachilala ndapo iyo mutsebo kuno iyo mutsebo kuno pamonga bakateka bakoto kutila uyu mutsebo uri no kuchitikwa ka ibala uwamia bakabikemo na manenekela Wesha bena ngumbo na mumfwa na mumfwa ri ashiri a musebo twala bombela po mukwai we told the people of kasama when we went to pakusevya pangwe na we said we we'll do the kasama airport kasama airport is done now it's beautiful i said we we'll do the mansa airport the mansa airport the contract the work has already started Museva Tayari is here. He can confirm as the Minister of uh, Transport. The airport is being done. If I tell you this will be done, like free education, like CDF, this road will be done. Take it from me. Take it from us. Believe what we're telling you. Because Tatulanda, we get the job done. <laughs> We told the people of the Copper Belt that all the mines that were run down by our friends who are talking every day, every night, tiki tok, tiki tok, tiki tok, every day, every night. Ay. Chungulo, tiki tok. Akasuba, tiki tok, tiki tok, tiki tok. Tuadibebe la banesu, abuaba la ndanga buacha banesos. Akatua pagati balesos, ichungulo balesos, umushiku balesos. Ni watu aliwewe na kuti la imigodi tulino kuamia, inoshita ni wosaka busungo kavi ya diko migodi malasa ngapari chitika. The copper belt is bargain business, and I say just to underscore that when we say something, we mean it. It gets done. The mines are now back. Mopani, KCM, 28 shaft, all of this. We said we would do the Ndola Rusaka Road, it's being done. So here, here, we are making a commitment. To the chapa mwabena ngumbo, to the chapa mo tutuare chalo cheskunta and she. Just talking, insulting each other, conflicting, using all sorts of things does not develop the country. Let us be organized. Let us work in a very smart way, organized way, methodical way. We'll get our job done. Agriculture here is, has the greatest potential. And we'll support this province, giving it more fertilizer and seed from VSIP, but also from the credit facility and other facilities, including irrigation. That's what I told Kapala. But Mulekutika. Nay mwemwa chitega ten hectares if ye. Maisa kuno ma at mashani. Mashtaza. Ma poka kanche and dep kuliba chief mwewa, but senior chief, you will lead by example. And I really want to encourage all the people of Zambia. We must produce food. You can't just be eating. Even the Bible says those who don't work should not eat. Let us work hard. God gave us these assets. Look at these assets. God loved us. He's done his job. Now, ni fuevo. Tu bombeshe. Eli ashiri. Ifingi mkwai mwere umfuila. Na batoko kutila. Ifuanga tuwa bombesha. Muli chino chalo. Muli no kubane fia kudia. No kuchirisha. Nga tuwa bombesha. Pantulesa. Ali tupeolo. Fintu ipisu makuno kumiesu. Babu mbula pota mashina mwere kutila. Ima tungulu no ni mwere ngecha kumwena ko. Our 
I want to encourage our traditional leaders to also lead by the example, produce food. We have given all our chiefs fertilizer and seed. They've already received most of them in advance of the season so that our subjects, your subjects, we, your subjects, can learn from you. You become the positive examples in our communities. I just want to say it's such a pleasure for me and my colleagues to be here. Uh, thank you to Chief, Senior Chief Mwewa, Avena Ngumbo, all the chiefs, my dear brothers and sisters, friends, many of you, friends. Let me see your palms tomorrow. Are we, yes, we, are we, yeah. we are so happy to be here and we are enjoying ourselves. We are learning a lot and honestly speaking, let this Ukwanga ceremony live long. Let Senior Chief Mwewa and your colleagues live long. I was very privileged to chat to a 101-year-old senior citizen there. This is a gift from God. That age is biblical age. So let's continue respecting our elders. Let's continue loving each other. Vane, your Royal Highnesses, Mweva Nandi, Lesa Amipale, Thank you very much. Thank you.